Right guys, it's time to impress this new chairman. Now then guys, how are we doing? Thank you for joining me again. So it's a new era, it's a new dawn. We are good to go and trying to impress this new chairman. Now this season is all about Europe for us. Yes, we're going to push for the league. We've won the Cups. You know, the league is the big one for us and Europe. Now, are we going to win the Champions League? No. Are we going to perform better than we did last season? I bloody hope so. And if we can do that, you know, we should get Europa League out of it. If we can progress from the group stage, it's fantastic. For me, the ideal thing is third place finish in the group and then we push on into the Europa League. Now, the big thing is we haven't even made it into the Champions League yet. We've still got to beat AZ Alkmaar, but we have played them once already and we have won 1-0 and we'll go through that shortly. But the big news so far is Stevie is staying. Stevie isn't leaving. He rejected the bid from Stoke. And we're going to have him for another year. I didn't really want to get rid of the guy anyway, but £20 million was a decent offer. So Stevie's staying with us. So results-wise, then, we've had two games between episodes as we beat Mohuel 2-0. Now, we had 20 shots, 11 on target, and 57% possession. It took us into the second half, though, to get those goals as Mitrovic scored on 75 minutes, then Divine on 87, getting us the win. Decent win. Great start to the season. We're usually poor towards the start of the season, so 2-0, three points on the board, very handy. And then we scraped by with a 1-0 victory against AZ at home. Now, this was a difficult game. And in fairness, we done well to get the points. It could have been a draw. They didn't score an away goal, which is good for us. But now we've got to go back to their place and try and hold on. So we had 18 shots, 5 on target, 57% possession. They had 16 shots and 6 on target. And Kragul got the goal. It gives us a lead going into the game at the end of today's episode. So the first match today then is against St. Johnson, Crony 11th. Now this is only game day two for us in the season. Celtic have currently played both of their games and have got maximum points naturally and plus six goal difference as well. Rangers against Hamilton and Motherwell against Livingston, the other two games. Team selection wise then we're going with Gory and Goal, Clark, Pinto, Lombardo and Ferendi. We shall abide in the hold and roll, Martirana, Mishalevic and Kragul out wide and then St. Amar and Mitrovic up front. Quite a change team for the start of this season but why not? So what's been said in the social roundup then? K Malone says, I think this is our best team. It's a good team. And Holly Lowry says, we're onto something here with this, aren't we? I hope so. I bloody hope so. So we're favourites for a reason. Let's go out and get the win. But this team selection is up there with me strongest. This is a highlight then. Xander Clark goes long and we pick it up Pinto. Let's it bounce. Shalabar. Ball over. St. Amar straight away. No way. And there you go. What a ball from Shalabar. And Stevie sent a mark. First goal. Two minutes in. And we're 1 0 up. All right, Pinto. Shalabar just hoofs it. He does. And Stevie's got the legs. What a finish. What a start to the game. And we go on joint points with Celtic. As we're going into the 20 minute mark, it's almost 50 50 possession. We've obviously had the better of the exchanges. As Fernady then, on a card, goes out to Mitrovic. Milosevic to Shalabar. All right, Clark again. And we go along again. And the ball to Stevie. No way. Stevie wonder that one. Well wide. 25 minutes then. Let's keep the pressure on us. We've had five shots, two on target. St. Johnson haven't done anything to now. They're bottom of the league now. No, but with two games in, it doesn't really matter. Lombardo then. Short to Martirana. All right, what we can do. Oh, that's poor from Martirana, that. Let's get involved. Doyle, Shalabar, easy. Lombardo to Fanadi. Kragul then. St. Amar again. Got to be in St. Amar. He's offside. But he's beaten their offside trap. Just not on this occasion. That ball over the top. He's had a decent number of opportunities. He's gone too early there. As we're going to go into half time. And at 1 0, I'm happy with that. We've had plenty of opportunities. St. Johnson haven't laid a glove on us. Lombardo then, look at him, just strolling all the time in the world. Fernady's probably going to come off at half time, I can't risk the yellow card. A Saint Amar to Kragul, and he's put it wide. We've been wasteful today, and this is the kind of game where St. Johnson will have one chance, and he'll end up being 1 1, no doubt. Things are going well, but I know you can't believe him better. That is true. What are the changes then? I want to get some of these carded players off. Mitch Clark's going to come off then, Divine's going to come on. And Sugawara is going to come on from a Fanade. And that'll do for me changes. Start the second half. And we are good to go. So Yukonari Sugawara comes on at right back. 
as we go into the hour mark, there is a highlight. Gordon's going to pick it up then. Oh, this is going to be one of those, isn't it? Ball over the top like that. McKinley on a card. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Gory, it's well wide. I was going to say, it's going to be one chance and we're going to get punished. We get away with it there as this highlight then carries straight on from their miss. Lombardo. Almost falls all over the ball. Right, go again. Ball over the top. And it's that man centre Mar again. No way. Oh, it's off the bar. What an opportunity. He is something else. You know, when we brought him in, we spent relatively big money on him. At the time, we did anyway. Obviously, not now. As Martirana is done. Right, what's the change then, really? I'm going to get Kragul out on that side. And Rina Motta actually can go out there. We'll swap those two guys around. Milosevic then. He's going to go out wide. As the ball falls, who scored there? Mitrovic through a crowd of players. He torpokes one into the corner. And we are 2-0 up. It's no less than what we deserve. We have been wasteful today, though. As Divine with the long throw into the box. You know, what is going on there? They're falling over each other. The keeper's gone far too early. 2-0. I can't believe I've had 13 shots, only three on target. Got plenty of tied legs out there, though. Divine then. Whips one in. We're at the back post. Big save. And Lombardo hits the post on the rebound. And with six minutes to go, I just want to see it out now, if I'm honest. There are plenty of yellow cards. And we've managed to get him quite well, if I'm completely honest. They had one big chance at the start of the second half. But deserved winners there, I'd say. 2-0. Well done, lads. A good win. And a decent three points. So Rangers win 2-0 against Hamilton. Motherwell 2-0 against Livingston. And ourselves 2-0 against St. Johnson. To put us second in the league. After two games played, so Celtic, Hearts and Rangers, the top three. How the fans reacted then? Michael Good says, really impressive stuff from us today. Thought we defended superbly and took our chances brilliantly. And Callum Stain says, lol, people will overrate Lombardo for anything nowadays. Lombardo's decent. I'm assuming he got player of the match. Martin is injured out for seven days to two weeks. Lombardo's on form, as expected. Defensive work was a joy. And Pascara boss, Fabio Grosso, is looking at Stevie centre Mark. Well, he done him proud today. He's definitely impressed. He is incredible, though, and he's only going to get better. Like I say, we paid big money at the time, £1 million. And he's one for one. Great start to the season. Right, so here we go, then. The away leg in the Netherlands against AZ Alkmaar. Now, it's going to take some going it, because AZ, they're a decent team. If we go out of this one, we will drop straight into the Europa League. But, boy, do I want to get that Champions League revenue. So... Let's have a look at the team selection. So we're going to go with Gory in goal, Clark, Pinto, Suta and Fanedi, Diallo in the holding role with Divine, Milosevic and Kragul out wide and then St. Amar and Mitrovic up front. So not much being said in the social round up today then as Damien Hill says St. Amar is starting good and Ains Crichton says I think this is our best team. I genuinely believe we've got a quality team anyway. We've got so much depth. Go out there and carry on straight where you left off. They're going to play a 4-2-3-1, and we know we're playing, so no drama, guys, please. I'll take a nil-nil, thanks. An away goal, though, for us, and I reckon it's over. As we have a highlight, then, in the first five minutes, and we're going to try and play it out from the back, as Gory just goes long, and it's cut out in the midfield. Addo to Sadiek. Ball over the top. for Rend Oh, jeez, Louise, I thought he made a mess of that. A St. Martin, can he win the head? He doesn't. Is this going to be a game where we don't win the second ball? But Dave made a right mess of it. Kragul's going by himself. He's going by himself. It's a poor effort, though. As a Wusu Aduro makes a save in their goal. Ten minutes gone. They've had three shots already. Not managed to find a target with any of them. As Divine swings in. Sutar, and it's off the bar. John Sutar with a decent effort. Don't be one of these games, guys, eh? As Divine then, 13 minutes in. Sutar has missed again. Old Sutar, 50 pence head. Puts it over the bar. Cut it out then. Suta. I've seen plenty of the ball in the first 15 minutes. Diallo to Pinto. Clark then. Sends Saint Amar. Go on, Stevie lad. Oh, it's a big save. He's onside as well. I was waiting for the line. I was flagged to go up. As we've got that small section of fans there. Getting involved. Divine. Come on. Divine again. He's in the box and it's a block and it's going to be another corner. We are piling on the pressure. We need to make the most of it though while we've got it. 
as Divine swings one in again. Anybody, anybody to go on Diallo. Doesn't score many. Miroslavic, oh, it's gone wide. His name's a mouthful at the best of times. 20 minutes gone then. We are the better side here. We've had five shots, two on target. 56% possession. Fernady's got another yellow card. And Kragul's looking shattered. Is he getting a yellow? He is. Right, come on. Watch that ball over the top. I've got a feeling this is going to be a game where we finish with 10 men. Ball over. The hand goes up. Was Carlson's through? Gory with a big save. And we're going to keep it in as well as Clark to Divine. And we're going to work it out from the back now. The highlight goes, and I'll take it if I'm honest. Two yellow cards then, both on the same side of the pitch. And we're going to go to half time. A decent first half, that. I said I'll take a nil nil. We should be a goal up. We've got an aggregate lead, but now let's make sure we hold on to it. Right, tactically then, what's the change? Logan's going to come on for Fanady. Do I make a change up front? Mitrovic is on a 6.6. St. Amar's not had a great game. Do I get Brown on? Brown's coming on. Double change at half time. It's a big change again. This is a highlight straight from kickoff. Lucasen. Ball over. Pinto. The karate kick. I think they're just going to play a game of trying to play over the top of us. And there's that ball over the top. As Addo's through on goal and it's wide. That is a big miss. I think Logan's keeping everybody on side there as well. As that is in the first minute of the second half. Hope that's not a warning sign. Right. There we go. We've nicked the ball. Brown on it. Brown's got the pace. Go on, lad. Charlie Brown turn him inside out. Ball across. Diallo. Oh, that is poor. What is Diallo doing there? Sutar on it. He's not really got a lot of options. Where's the overlap? Mirosavic then. Ball across. Kragul wants to be careful. Beats his man now. Mil oh, there you go. Mitrovic. We get the away goal on 48 minutes and we are 2-0 up. Thank God for that. As Milosevic then, you know, plays it out. Kragul needs to be careful. He gets lucky there. And he puts it on a plate for Mitrovic. Point blank, really. Keeper's got no out. 11 shots, 4 on target. 57% possession. And we're doing all right. As I want to make one more change, I'm probably going to... Probably going to get Shalabar on. It's Kagul is shattered though. I might get Rinamotta. I don't know. Right. There we go. Let's make a change. Rinamotta. It's going to go out on that side. As there's the change confirmed. Alright. Highlight then. Thomas. I do. Who missed the sitter earlier on. And oh dear gory. Made me think it was closer than what it was. He were going for it then. Eight minutes to go. No more drama, please. Gakbo. Matodno then. He beats a man. Ball in. They've got a score, surely. Gory, what a save. The wrong side as well. They were queuing up at the back stake. What are they playing at? Let's get this clear. There is some pressure on at the minute. Brown then. He's on the way. He's there by himself, and that is fairly poor, if I'm honest. But he didn't have a lot of options. Is here coming back into it? What a result. I'm happy with how this tie went. We managed to scrape through. I think we've even got another tie, you know, before we even hit the group stage. So how have the fans reacted then? Peter Sutherland says, oh, man, what a great result. I'll be buzzing about this all week. But Bobby Sinclair says, AZ didn't deserve to lose that one. It was an even game, but we had so much pressure in that one. We had to get something from it. And Mitrovic's goal was the difference. So first leg try and fend helps us pass AZ. Hearts winning the Champions League. Qualifying third round. We didn't deserve anything from that. It's not clear and seed off. He's not happy. And we play Genk in the next round. And confirmation of that tie. So that's on the 19th of August. So that's probably where you're going to join me next. Probably for, if I'm completely honest, the second leg of that tie. So we'll do Hamilton and Genk. Because like I say, this season for me is going to be all about our European journey. So that's where you'll join me next then for the second tie against Geng. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. ta -ra.